it's a pleasure to be here, to be the person appointed to present and deliver brief opening remarks on behalf of the Office of the Prime Minister and by extension, the Government of St. Lucia. This is our first consultation on the draft cultural heritage policy for St. Lucia. I recall that it was just a year ago, or just over a year ago, on August 2nd, 2023, that I had the privilege of addressing you at the beginning of this process, whereby you were selected and you agreed to be instrumental in the development of the draft policy on cultural heritage for our beloved country. As you would know, the primary purpose of our meeting here today is to conduct a review of the work done to date. Back in 2023, a volunteer working group was established under the auspices of the Office of the Prime Minister to embark upon this journey. I recall that the working group intended to complete the task in a short time frame of about four months. But as you would recall, I cautioned that though commendable, this may have been a bit too ambitious. But we are here today. A little over a year later, you may be tired, but I'm sure you feel gratified with the accomplishment thus far. All made possible through the sweat and tears of the working group. I am most delighted to have been part of the initiation of this process, and even more elated to see that the working group remained the focus and stuck to the task at hand, producing the draft policy. The commitment, perseverance, and shared determination of the team have not gone unnoticed. I commend all the members of the working group for their dedication to the task and for delivering on the mandates entrusted to them. I specifically wish to commend and congratulate Mr. Tulsi for his sterling leadership of this project. I invite you to I wish you a deep appreciation for the work of Mr. Tulsi. Mr. Tulsi, please accept our heartfelt appreciation for the tremendous work that you have done over the years, and more specifically, on this initiative for our country, St. Lucia. I also extend thanks to you, the participants, representing our collective aspirations mm -hmm. to protect, preserve, and celebrate our rich and diverse cultural heritage. Today's gathering is a milestone in our journey to chart a path that honors our past, which in turn helps to shape our future. I urge you to share freely of your ideas, your expertise, your passion, and as we work together to ensure that the cultural heritage of St. Lucia not only remains vibrant, but is protected and sustained for generations to come. St. Lucia is blessed with a wealth of cultural assets, both tangible and intangible. From our stunning natural landmarks like the Pitons, which have earned us global recognition, to our deeply rooted traditions, such as our music, dance, festivals, and language, our heritage is a powerful expression of who we are as a people. It reflects our history, our struggles, our triumphs, and our enduring spirit. Cultural heritage is not static. It evolves over time, shaped by both our experiences and external influences. It is, it is not just about monuments or artifacts. It is about language, about folklore, about customs, and about the sense of identity that binds us together as solutions. It is also about our environment, our unique biodiversity, which is intricately linked to our cultural practices and livelihoods. Therefore, protecting our cultural heritage is essential for maintaining our national identity, fostering social cohesion, and promoting sustainable development. It was with immense pride and joy that we watched in amazement as the rest of the world looked on. A young woman from humble beginnings, 
a warm, compassionate, confident, but strong athlete, a simple-minded but powerfully resilient personality in the person of Julian Alfred. She accomplished what millions only dream of, becoming a world champion in a highly contested race in the Paris 2024 World Olympics. And to quell any doubts, she secured not only a gold medal in the 100 meters, but also a silver medal in the 200 meters. Nothing short of a phenomenal accomplishment on the world stage from one of our very own Julian Alfred. What inspiration to the entire world, and more significantly, to all situations. Young and old, yeah. hair and abroad. This is a beautiful chapter in our story of what a rich heritage we have and continue to build. Perhaps this generation and the future generation will see Juju's accomplishment as a beacon of hope for a new beginning or rather an evolution of our heritage as we conquer the world of sports. And I think we need to take a few seconds. I know we've celebrated a few seconds so once more show our deep appreciation for this accomplishment by our very own Julian Alfred. In recent years, we have seen increasing recognition globally that cultural heritage plays a central role in the development of nations. Here in St. Lucia, however, there is an urgent need to establish a framework that systematically addresses the preservation and promotion of our heritage in a holistic and sustainable manner. This draft policy is our response to that need. It is the result of extensive research, consultation, and collaboration by the members of the working group, which met about 39 times from what Mr. Tulsi informed us since its establishment, and those with whom they consulted to develop the draft policy. This draft cultural heritage policy is built on several principles, including preservation and conservation, common ownership, intergenerational equity, adaptive management, sustainability, research and documentation, as well as sustainable development. In addition, I need to highlight this. The policy calls for the enactment of a cultural heritage act and supporting regulations to provide a legal protection and an enforceable framework for its management and sustainable contribution to social empowerment, environmental sustainability, and economic development for our nation. As we move forward with this consultation, I want to emphasize that this is a collaborative process. The draft policy is just what it says, a draft. It is a foundation, and we are here today to invite your input, your feedback, your ideas, to make it stronger and more reflective of the needs and aspirations of all solutions. Whether you represent a local community, a cultural organization, the private sector, or academia, your voice matters. The goal of this consultation is to gather insights from all corners of our society to ensure that the final policy is comprehensive, inclusive, and capable of achieving its objectives. We want a policy that not only addresses the challenges of today, but to also anticipate the opportunities and threats of tomorrow. I wish to remind you that today's consultation is just the beginning. You would have noted that you will be, you will be reviewing the draft, the zero draft of the policy. The expectation is that your inputs will trigger a review of the document into what will emerge as the first draft which will be used to engage with stakeholders across the country. Refine the policy based on the feedback we receive and work towards its final adoption. But beyond the policy itself, we must remain committed to its implementation. Protecting our cultural heritage is not a one-time undertaking. It is a continuous endeavor that requires dedication, collaboration, and innovation. In closing, I want to reiterate that our cultural heritage is a treasure that we must protect, not just for ourselves, but for the generations to come. It is a source of, it is a source of pride, 
a foundation for national identity and for sustainable development. Together, we can ensure that St. Lucia's heritage remains vibrant and resilient and a source of inspiration for all who call this island their own. Thank you once again for your presence here today and for your commitment to safeguarding our national cultural heritage. I look forward to a productive and very insightful consultation process beginning today. On this note, I wish to wish all of you happy Cultural Heritage Month, which is now in October. And for those who don't understand English, bon fête for you all. Enjoy and celebrate our heritage. Thank you.